Hi, I know it's been a very long time since I made a video. Um, I want to thank Jamie, Sam and Carla and Marika for um, covering for me. I really appreciate it. Um, this week we're talking about depression and I guess our lowest point. <sighs> for me, I've had a few. I've had a few really, really low points. One of which was chronicled on YouTube on my own channel in 2000 and end of 2007 and basically the entire year of 2008 I was getting over my ex-fiance and that I mean god that whole ordeal of getting over this person that I was supposed to marry was crazy and nothing I would never wish that kind of pain and suffering on anyone. Um, yeah, that was, it was not fun and it was just, it was horrible. But I came out the other end appreciating what happened, learning a lot. Um, and yeah, I guess um, I became a better person because of all that suffering. And um, so that was good. I know this probably defeats the whole purpose of this topic week, topic week. But, um, you know, I don't really want to talk about what happened and how I felt because that's all I did for a whole, you know, year and a bit. It was for something like almost 14 months was talk about my feelings and how sad I was. And I just don't want to go back there. Um to watch the videos, you know, if you really want to know, watch the videos. I think most of them are still up there. I think basically um, the most important thing that you can do when you're suffering through um, depression, for me, I guess this is from my experience, is no matter how much you do not want to get out of bed, you do not want to just get out of your house, you need to just get out. Accept the invitations that people give you. Surround yourself with people who are going to distract you a little bit and who are going to entertain you. I think you should be spending equal parts um, at home, wallowing, and out with friends and family and, and whoever else makes you happy. And I honestly think that chronicling it in some way, whether it's just writing in a journal um, or, you know, recording yourself in some way, I think it's a great way to kind of, I guess, gain some perspective once you're, once you've healed. It's a great way to look at, to look at your life, to look back and, and go, wow. I've grown a lot since then. I've become a much stronger person since then. And um, I like who I am now after all of that. That was a real eye-opener for me. So I guess that's it for me. Um, I'm so happy to be back in Perth. I miss Jakarta and Bali terribly already. But I'm, I'm glad to be home and I'm glad to be a part of this again. I really felt out of the loop over there. Um, so I'm glad to be back. Um, thanks so much for your patience, and um, I can't wait to hear what the rest of the Real Revolutionaries come up with for this topic. Um, good night. It's been a long day. I'm going to bed.